Mark Hunter, the sales hunter here, and I'm back with another one of the seven C's. The seven C's, these are seven words that begin with the letter C that I believe if you master, you'll become incredibly successful in sales. Today's word begins with the letter C, like they all do, and it's communication. Now you say, Mark, communication, that's pretty basic. No, it's not pretty basic. It is incredibly advanced, and it's amazing at how we get it wrong. We get it wrong too often as salespeople. You see, here's the whole thing. We believe that communication is how we want to communicate. It's not about how we want to communicate. It's about how the customer wants to communicate. You see, I find too many salespeople, what they do is they find that communication when it comes to sales is all about emails, 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 social media, emails, emails, social media. No, it's not. I have to be able to master every form of communication. I, I've got a tremendous number of prospects that I've been able to turn into customers that I only be, was able to reach by way of the telephone. Yeah, the, the telephone. That, that's an unusual thing. You know, the telephone works far more than we give it credit for. Well, nobody answers the telephone. Well, guess what? Nobody responds to your email either. You see, we have to be able to use every form of communication, including text message, including social media, depending on the audience, depending on the age, depending on all the various makeups. Now, here's the whole question though. You have to ask yourself, is your communication leading first with questions or is it about you and it's story time of your life? You see, one of the biggest things about communication is getting the other person to respond. Getting the other person and this is absolutely key. This is why we have to, we have to be able to not only use the, the medium that the customer wants to use, but we have to do it on the time and the frequency that the customer wants. And I want to talk about the frequency for a bit. What's your timing? See, it's not what your timing, preferred timing is, it's what's their time. Is it early morning? Is it late in the day? Is it Monday or Friday? And this is going to vary, of course, by industry, but and, and type and type of person you're reaching out to. But here's the question. Don't think your preferred communication is their preferred communication. I, I'd love to say that Fridays is for selling. Fridays is for closing deals. I'm amazed at the number of deals I'm able to close on a Friday afternoon because of the fact that customers want to get this off. The, they want to get this off their plate. They want to get this taken care of. And boom. And because nobody else is calling them and tend to be that Friday afternoon meetings kind of die down and so forth. I could, I, I could have conversations that I don't normally get during the week. I'm, I'm going to share with you something else, and that, that is Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings is a great time to be reaching out by way of email to senior level people because they don't stop working on the weekends. No. See, on the weekends, they're not working in their business. They're now working on their business. And I have a great, great result. I've got a course out there in the Sales Hunter University that shows you how to do just that. You see, here's the whole thing, though. Regardless of the medium, and it might be email, telephone, voicemail, social media, you've got to understand two things. One is brevity, and the second is clarity. Brevity wins first, because here's the whole thing. You could have the best message in the world, but if it's too long, forget it. They're not going to take it. It's about brevity, and, and brevity is going to get the person to read it. Clarity is going to get them to embrace it. Not necessarily to respond, but to embrace it. And this is absolutely key. You see, so many times what happens is we get somebody on the phone and or we have an email and we want to tell them everything. Hold it. Remember, it's about them. Communication. And I want you to look at it this way. Communication is not about what you say. It is about what you hear. Put that in your vault. Communication is not what you say. Communication is what you hear. Focus on what you hear. Here's a very simple rule of thumb, and that is ask yourself this question. Are my conversations starting off by being personal or professional? And again, it's going to vary by the type of person I'm reaching out to. Either way, I've got to lead off the conversation by making it about them. It's the questions I ask. I've got to engage them. You see, communication is not about what I say. 
Communication is about what I hear. How good are you at communicating? One final comment, one final thought. I've always said the best sales presentation ever made is the sales presentation never given. What do I mean by that? Well, because marketing or you have created this unbelievable PowerPoint presentation. You got this unbelievable deck. It's all, all the stuff you ever wanted to know. Customer does want to hear that. Hmm. They want a conversation. See, I, I, I've taken the time to create this presentation. I know my stuff. I, and, 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 and I want you to craft this presentation. You should create it. But then I want you to take a step back and realize that, hold it. Wait a minute. It's not about giving the presentation. It's about having a conversation and allowing the customer to share. See, I know my stuff. I know my content. But I'm going to share it with you by way of questions in a conversation. That's what your customer's looking for. Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Center. We've been going through the seven C's. I want you to check out every one of the videos because they're designed for one thing, to help you see and achieve what you didn't think was possible by upping your sales skills. I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Great selling.